Today, I have the pleasure to host for the first time Reta Nadas. I'll let her introduce herself. That's going to be much easier. Thanks so much for having me. I'm Reta. I've been at Databricks for almost three and a half years, and I am focusing on our Databricks One experience, which I'm super excited to be talking with you all about today. Oh, and I'm a product manager. Forgot to mention that, I think. And I think you now guess why she's here. She will be talking about one of the hottest topic or let's say features that were unveiled at the Data and AI Summit. And we have a bunch of questions. What's Databricks One first? Sure, let's get into that. So yeah, so let's talk a little bit about Databricks One. Historically, Databricks has been very, very focused on our technical users. Um, and now we really want to, you know, keep investing in our business users who are taking the output of those technicians work. Databricks One is the complementary solution to our technical capabilities. It is a streamlined new experience built for business users to get the most out of data and AI with the least friction. It is built on top of the consumer entitlement, which we'll get into, and gives users a view-only experience in a workspace. So they can only consume, they cannot create. And Databricks kind of takes that and reimagines it. And so as you see, Databricks One is in private preview right now, actually this summer across all clouds. And yeah, that's that's Databricks One. Yeah, and I, I, and I had a chance to try it. It's I can define it as a lightweight version or friendly version for business users. It's like simple one, like you get rid of all this, the tab workflows, like a notebook, orchestration, dashboard, like compute, just go and start using it. You don't need to build a web app to start using maybe Genie or dashboard. You just open the browser and you're good to go. Exactly. Super smooth and a super nice layout. And what if I want to like get started with Databricks One? Do we have any uh, requirement? Uh, great question. We do. So you need to be on the consumer entitlement which is something that Databricks has recently rolled out. It's available to everyone, but you need to have that entitlement to be able to see the Databricks One experience. And can you show us how we can enable this uh, consumer uh, <coughs> consumer entitlement? Yeah, of course. I'm very happy to, and I, I feel your pain, um, but it's super easy once you get the hang of it. So here we go. So I'm just gonna show you, I'm in a workspace right now. I am a workspace admin, so I can do settings, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to go to workspace settings. I'm going to go to identity and access. I'm going to go to my users. So I'm thinking, okay, I want to give a specific user access to Databricks One. They need to have the consumer entitlement. Let me give them that entitlement. So go to manage. Let's pick my cell. Here we go. Let's pick. All right, here I am. So if you see here, here are some accesses. So the consumer access is what you want toggled on. You don't want anything for that user toggled on. If they have admin access, workspace access, or Databricks SQL access, it will trump consumer access and they will not be able to see the Databricks One flow, the experience. So think of consumer access as like the least privileged entitlement you can have, because like we said, you can only really consume things, you can't create things. So if they have anything else checked, it will not work. So you wanna make sure, okay, they've just got consumer access, the other thing to take a look at is what other groups they're in. This can be a gotcha. So these are other groups they're in. And I see they're in a users group. And users group is a very important group to know what the access is because it is the default for all users added to that workspace. So let's just go check out what the entitlements are in that group and make sure that it's not giving away a higher privilege than the consumer entitlement. So let's see. Perfect. It's only got consumer access, so Databricks One will work for them. And if I'm not wrong with this consumer access, they, they can already have a UI where they can use a Genie, if I'm not wrong. All right. So yeah, let's take a look at that consumer entitlement. So this is what the consumer entitlement looks, at with, looks like without Databricks One enabled. You'll see on the left side, you've got your dashboards, you've got your Genie spaces, and you've got your apps. And on you have nothing else, so you're not seeing any of the SQL stuff, any of the ML stuff. Very simple, very smooth, only things that you can consume, not anything where you can create. And on the homepage, again, you'll see recent favorites, popular and what's new, and it'll start to load you know, things that were recent or things that you favorited. Um, but it's a very smooth, very clean look. Yeah. And the good news, like the consumer entitlement is already available to everyone, which means you can get like start using this feature from now. Of course, Databricks One will add a better UI, um, uh, like a lot of exciting things on the top, but you can 
start using this, this entitlement while waiting maybe for the public preview. As uh, Reta mentioned, you can ask your Databricks representative on board you on the private preview, and you will have the opportunity to provide feedback and help shaping the future of, uh, of Databricks one. Yes, we would love your feedback. Please go try this out and we want to hear from you all. And can you maybe one more thing show us the UI of Databricks one one more time for those who did miss the demo by, uh, by uh, Miranda? I was hoping you would ask me for that. All right, let's dive in. So here is Databricks one. Very friendly, saying hello to you. This is really a visual reimagining of being able to only access the things that are consumable. Dashboards that provide reporting, genie spaces that provide natural language interface to talk to and query, and Databricks apps, which are custom analytics solutions, which can build whatever your use case is from scratch, build the exact experience you want. And so the cards here that you're seeing are representing things you've recently opened, things that you've recently been shared, things you frequently use, and recommendations for what is most relevant to you. And what's really, really cool is you can ask a question directly to a genie space here. So first you'll see you could search. So I could search for, you know, a dashboard or a genie space, but I can ask. So what I do is I choose a genie space and then right from this interface, I can ask something like explain the data set. Whoops. In this genie space. And it's thinking then of about course it. Will, it will take you to the genie space and you will have the response. That's yeah. That's very smooth, very easy to use. I don't think you require any technical level to, to use uh, Databricks one. Just need to be able to type. Databricks, Databricks one that really exists. It's not a mockup. It's like a real feature that exists. Do you have anything else to add, uh, Reta? Of course. So yeah, so this is just the starting experience. It's only going to get better. So soon it will have the ability to curate, organize, and browse content by business domain. And what we mean by business domain is whatever collection or organization that is meaning or is relevant to your business. Um, some other things that come up, some frequently asked questions are, you know, what are the costs associated? The only costs associated with running Databricks One are those with running the objects. So if you're running the dashboard or the genie space, like you would in a normal workspace, those are the costs. Right now it is workspace level Databricks one, but we really want to eventually go to all users in an account. And what's even better is no migrations are required other than making sure you are provisioned to the consumer entitlement. This doesn't impact any other workspace. It doesn't impact any other users, only people with the consumer entitlement. You just have to click two buttons and you're ready to rock. Um, some other things that come up th that we're planning that I'm really excited about is for some people who really want a simple URL to a workspace or a vanity URL, something that's simple to remember, we are going to provide this very simple workspace URL. I don't know if any of you have ever been frustrated with our URLs today, but they're not super intuitive and they can be quite arbitrary. And so we want to introduce a memorable URL that makes it easy for users to get back to this experience. Um, and like we said, we want to lift this experience above the workspace to users. So users have one place to go to find things that have been shared with them across all regions. So we'll start with the workspace within a few cloud regions and then go to geo, for example, like all workspaces in the US or the EU, and then hopefully global. And so, yeah, those are some exciting things we have on the roadmap. Um, we're hoping to go to gated public preview by early next year. That that That's amazing. I think but they can already start playing with the, con the consumer entitlement while waiting for uh, for the uh, public review of uh, Databricks one. And of course, they can they will have plenty of time to make sure that the Gini workspace is curated to have like the best experience, make sure that when end users will uh, like, they will open those Gini spaces, they know that they can trust the response they will have. And this is super, super critical. Yes. And remember, even if you give someone access to consumer entitlement, if they aren't, if they haven't been shared any dashboards or genie spaces, they'll see a blank screen. So you still need to share these objects. With them. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rita. Looking forward to bringing you back once this feature goes public preview. And thanks again for your time. I can't wait. Thank you so much for having me and try it out and let us know your feedback. Let's build this together.